to be live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. You ready? Hail Satan. Say, 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 Satan. It's awesome. For evil because good is dumb. It's time for the Going Deep Show. Good kid. Join me tonight, LB. I'm bad. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> if you'd like to reach our show, send us an email studio at Going Deep Show. That's the safest way to do it. We have a little contest that we're going to be running here. We have some tickets we're giving, giving away to somebody. If you're into biscuits of limpiness, <laughs> limpy of biscuitness, you could go to the concert. We, we're giving tickets away. Yes, we actually sound real. <laughs> We're giving real <laughs> things away to people. Can you believe it, people? This is when you know you've kind of... When you do something long enough, people eventually think, oh, they've been doing that a long time. They're kind of real. I'm so fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always fake. I say that facetiously. Winky, winky, dinky, dinky. Today I saw my daughter turn into like a fanboy, fangirl. Yeah, she, she fanboyed up. She called me fanboy when I ran into Dan Dickerson, the Tigers radio guy. Love that dude. Right. Like a as soon kid. as I saw him, man, I did. I turned into like a little kid. Hell yeah. Last time that happened, it was, it was when I saw Lenny Kravitz live like right in front of me. <laughs> She's like, Dad, Jesus Christ. I'm like, dude, he's a fucking rock star, man. He stuck his <laughs> dick in Lisa Bo fucking nay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I want to slap him on the fucking hand and be can like... Can I shake your penis, please? Can I sniff your fingertips, please? Oh. Just the tips. All the, yeah, oh, the other thing was, he supposedly banged Madonna. That's what kind Shit. of... Who hasn't? I know, but like, come on. Hey, the Bay City. Got the some Bay sniffies City. on the Madonna. I mean, back so in the even, day... Who, uh, was it Dennis Rodman even did that? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 for sure. That. Yeah. Jose Canseco got in there. A Rod got in there. I would love to see. You know, she'd be probably pretty, pretty candid about who she's fucked. I think she would be candid in what way? Like just like she would not. She would f- spill the beans. I think oh, she yeah. would tell everybody. I think that that she's that kind of a hooker. I think that that's how it is. And you've seen her lately. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like, it, it, but we're getting to relive it through Miley Cyrus. Mm. I just haven't heard of any like. S- like sex scandals or anything with See, Miley. I, I, just, I can dig the Miley Cyrus. Oh, yeah. What about you? You, yeah. like, you like that? Yeah, well, you know, Hannah Montana. So. Only when she wears the blonde wig, though. Oh, no, yeah. it and it's all like skin skin tight bodysuits and shit at all her concerts. I love it. Even though she's got no cans. Do you remember when she was touring with the, was it, it, was, it wasn't the Violent Femmes, it was Flaming Lips. Who was? Miley Cyrus was. The Flaming Lips were like her opening act. Oh, and they yeah. and she got into a really creative time where she was doing all this wild stage shows with fucking all sorts of crazy nonsense, like man. rappers. She was doing shit with rappers, too. Remember, it was like the Bangers or something? Yeah. Or, right? yeah. yeah. Either way, I just turned on some chains, crank it up, <laughs> turn her volume down, just let her dance around like it's at a strip club, and you're yeah. good to go, man. There you, you can, go. That's how you can tolerate women most of the time. Don't you wish you could do that? With all women, like there was a like a like little a switch button, little switch on them. Sometimes, man, it's Sometimes. like, can I turn your switch on to like the baseball game, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're hot, you look great, but I would much rather hear play by play by Dan Dickerson at this <laughs> point, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so we go to the uh, Tiger game today, thanks to our buddy Jimmy Two Courts. He gets a hold of me last week. He's like, "Hey, you want to go to the game?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, I want to go to the game." I'll never not go to Tiger game. Fuck yeah, I could. You could say, "Hey, they got a double header. I want to go to both games." You could say, hey, I got to take... If somebody got a hold of me to right now and said, hey, tomorrow night, 7 to 5, you want to go? Yep. <laughs> it's like this, well, this, you're the yes man. You there's know? Yeah, no yeah. hesitation in going to Tiger Games. I love it. It's, it's such a comfort comfort zone for me to just hang out at the ballpark. Right. The second shift's fucking killing me, man. Yeah, I could, yeah. I'm a weekend warrior at this point. You were talking about not rocking and stuff, man. That's, that's I haven't that's been. Part dude, of your, it's, it, it's part of my social yeah. and part of my fucking stress relief, man. You know, it's like taking baseball away from me, like yeah. my my baseball team and stuff. It would fucking blow. I can't yeah, imagine. I don't dig it, man. I don't dig it at all. Man. So we get to the game, bumped to Dickerson. We're wandering around. The great thing about that place is you get all this VIP treatment because of the the ticket set that he has. And then we're sitting in an area where I I noticed this. I noticed this tall motherfucker was there. 
some tall, lanky some motherfucker. tall motherfucker. And then a bunch of tall motherfuckers, and they're all wearing U of M fucking basketball gear. So sure oh, enough, man. it's a bunch of the guys on the team, including the big, the big, the big center there. Yeah, seven one. The fuck's his name? Hunter. Hunter the Dickinson. Not to be confused with Bruce Dickinson. The Bruce Dickinson. Don't confuse yourself, people. You know, cowbell guy. More cowbell. More cowbell guy. Yeah. But my kid. <coughs> she legit, legit starts to get, I want a picture with him. I need to get a picture with him. I want to get it. It was, she couldn't get it off her mind. As soon as she, she wants to show all her friends and shit. As soon as she recognized that this motherfucker was there, she's got to get a picture with him. She's, that's all she could talk about. We're watching the game, watch the game, watch the game. Good game. Real tight game. So she's formulating a plan. Oh, I don't, I'm like, we can walk down right now and get a picture taken with him. I'm like, let's just go. Every other right, brother right. in the section, every person walking by was doing the same thing. He was signing autographs, doing all sorts of shit. Jump that bandwagon, man. So I, I overhear the conversation behind me, and I'm the kind of guy, I've bumped into celebrities and places sometimes, and they just, they just want to be bothered. Right, right. They want to live life. Just fucking leave them alone. Bumped into a couple of baseball players at the Apple Store one time, some football players at the Apple Store, you just... They just don't want to be fucked with. Just leave them. They're, they're out in their chores. Right, right. They're there with their wife getting dragged around and <laughs> so that they can use a credit card to buy a bunch of MacBooks and shit. Oh, yeah. They don't want to be recognized. The one time I went to the Apple store, Carlos Guillen, the shortstop for the Tigers at the time, was there. And he's standing right, he's at the, right across the table from me. And I'm in front of a computer. <clears throat> and I bring up MLB.com. I go to his page on MLB.com. And I go, hey, I, I was with Brett. I'm like, come here, look. She's like... That'd be him. She's like, what? And I said, look at that. Look at that guy right there. And I said, now just look over the screen. Just look over the top of the screen. As we were looking over the top of the screen, he catches wind of what I'm doing. Right, right. And I'm he looks sure at, it's not his first time. He looks at me that. like he looks at me, gives me this like look on his face. Little, little he's, nod, like, like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he knew what I was up to. Right, right. Up to some fucking nonsense. <laughs> no, not you. Me? I'm never. How dare I? Why, guy? I want to salute. Uh, my my buddy, my girl there, Fiona, who left me one can of alcohol here. I see that one single can. Just one to get you over the hump. You just know, just en- just enough, just enough to get over the hump. So let's talk about last night, man. Last night, oh fuck, five hours in a car. Five five hours in a car. But Jack White we got to see Jack White last Van night. Handel, yes. Van Van and Dell Arena opening up his wife. For him opening and for up, us. Opening up his wife. Yeah, Yowza. opening up his wife. Spreading them legs wide right open. Right, right. She's everybody. like one of those, uh, what are those like 50s pen Pen-up girls. Yeah, yeah. All black hair, you know. I was watching some video of her uh, on the old interweb there. Yeah. She's probably she's probably pretty sexy. Yeah. Yeah, she looks like she's got some boobs on her and shit. I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a rock star. I can get anybody I want, you know. Oh, like, yeah. Rosie, I swear to fucking God, I'm going to drop kick your goddamn face, okay? This message brought to you by PETA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> by fucking asshole. Bears. Fucking asshole dog. She's whining. We're not giving her enough attention. Enough. No, but you, you say there was a five-hour trip and stuff like that. Right, we were right, on the road, right, right. but I'm telling you, there's two and a half hours to get there. It seemed like they freaking... It flew by. It definitely flew by. A couple, a couple road beers on the way down was nice. Road beers are nice. They are yeah. nice, man. We hit up New Holland while we were there. New Holland, time. we did. We hit that place up. That was a nice place to go to. That was the second time I've been there in two weeks. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I, I fucking want to hit Hopcat, man. I got to hit that up. Yeah. I wish these places were just fucking closer to us. <laughs> it's, it's probably a good thing, because then it wouldn't seem, you know, cool to go. Well... It's still cool. We live in a place now here in Bay City. There's 50, 60 bars all over I the place. Know. It's always still cool to go, right? Yeah, it's true. We always bump into some fucking retards who hang out always. too much. There's out. always somebody wanting <laughs> to have a beer somewhere. You go out, dude, there's, you never, you either go and bump into old friends or you make new ones. Right, which is always fun. That's all there is to it, man. Yeah, always fun. Talk about this barfly place that we went oh, to. new place, yeah. I love that Washington. place. I do. Yeah, great vibe. Fucking bars, the like the bartenders and shit. Like they're kind of like low, like dick level, you know. Yeah, there's like two steps down. They're and just they're the like whole time they're low. just eyeballing your junk as they're taking your money. I'm all like, this feels good. <laughs> eyeball my junk, and and the patrons, man, were friendly too. I'm standing up there ordering, and this girl's like, I love your glasses. Where did you get them? Show me them. I want them. I love coral. <laughs> I'm like, no shit. She yeah, was, very friendly they were. I started bullshitting with them, for sure. 
Uh, I want to talk about something, LB. You're not on the dating apps. Were you on the dating apps before? I was on the dating apps. It's a running thing here. Yeah, there's so many of them. It's like, you if you're on one, you're on them all, right? I mean... Mm. Not necessarily. No? Because this new, this new one I got on, Hinge, right? The Hinge. You're not on that Farmers Only, eh? No. I'm on Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle. <laughs> Christian I'm, Mingle. I'm on that Blacks Only. What <laughs> where's, is that? Uh, where's the Satan Mingle? Oh, or I don't know. 666 mingle or whatever. I'm not I'm not on any of those. I find any ri- ritualistic bullshit bullshit just like the just like the others. Uh <laughs> when I came in here last week before the Michigan Music History podcast, uh they were talking about how they had somebody in here and they were wondering what all the little devil imagery is in here, the horny devil icon that we use, you know. Right. And they were like all wigged up. There somebody was wigged up by Somebody it. was wigged yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, "Come on, dude." Like 3 hours before they had Bible study yeah. and then So this Hinge app I get on, right? Yeah. So so what's the difference with with this compared to some of it the seems, other shit we've It seems it seems like you can like specific things on someone's profile. And they alert them that you like that specific thing. Like whether it be like an activity they do or, or Yeah, that or a quote that they put or a photo that they put or whatever the little questionings and all this crap. I so I'm in this thing, right? I narrow my search down to and this, I have a I have a method to my madness when oh, it yeah, comes yeah. to this shit, okay? I always say twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty eight, thirty nine, and forty eight, forty nine. Two years ahead of a large birthday always no. leads to the most fun because all these bitches want to get some shit done before their next. So you're paying attention to milestone. their age for sure. I definitely pay attention to the age. I, gotcha. I so, guess I never looked at it like that. You're really, you're going fucking deep. Think about it, man. No, when, it makes sense. When you're 28, 27, 28, 29, what are you thinking? Yeah, shit. I got to live before I'm fucking 30. God damn it. I wanted to do all this shit before I turned fucking 30. Right. So then 40, same exact thing. Right. 38, 38 39. 39. It's like, oh shit. I really didn't do all that craziness. The sweet spot is, I noticed, 36, 7, 8, and 9. Bammo. 40 is a big just, one, man. Just look through If you're looking for, if there's a single 36 to 39 year old out there that's hot, no kids, never married. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking oh. unicorn right Game there. Game fucking over. That's a fucking unicorn, man. That chick's ready to rock, dude. <laughs> She's ready to fucking spread them. So I've noticed there's a lot of likes in that age range. Yeah, science. You, you, you dwell, yeah, science. you dwell deep into this. I've never gotten into the, breaking it down like that. And you know I me, mean, I'm not going like fucking 47, 48, 49. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I mean, <laughs> shit, they're getting close to getting you 10% off on your coffee. You know, I attempted to do a date one time with a chick who was 52 years old. Okay. 52. 52. Jesus, that's like that's like the age of the mothers of the girls you're talking to. She sent me pictures of her titties, and I wanted to slap her on these fuckers, dude. Wow, you go from her kneecap to her titty to her kneecap to her titty? Because they they're fake. right by each other? No, they were fakies, dude. Oh, they really? They were fucking globes. Globes. <laughs> they were fucking, fucking globes. Jupiter, not Earth, right? Globes, yeah. man. They were globes. I didn't show you these globes. I think I got a file no. somewhere. I got a file somewhere. These globes are Your dad, you filed it away in the old spank bank. <clears throat> so I tried this one time with this woman, right? <clears throat> you tried what with her? I took her. I went on a date with her. Oh, okay. Uh, she was, I would say, like a six. She was not anything to write home about. Right, Nothing right. really hot. Just she had these heavy. big old titties, though. Clean would have loved it. Clean was all, oh my God, clean would have been all about these titties. But what I'm getting back to now, this hinge app, I keep like circling yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. I get it all not off track. Not us. Not us. The X is in this thing. I and the, the she popped up. Oh yes, yes. She popped right. up on there, and this is the kid being the kid here with all this. I had, I struggled to not like something because first of all, she's talking about drinking some whiskey. She's talking about. Baseball and like in sport. You get to everything. see the fun side. She's showing you the fun side, not the crazy. She's right. not bringing the crazy out but on him. Everything that was in this profile was crazily weird of what I put in my profile because I just got the app. It was the day after we went to Barfly. All right. Put the app in, put my profile info in, 
and then boom, she pops up, right? It was something about, um, one of the things in the profile said something about, I've never been with any, uh, some of the turns me on is somebody, somebody who plays an instrument, right? Oh, all right, yes. yes. In, so, in my profile, I put in there some, about how I, I realize I want to learn how to play the drums. Oh, it, you right, know, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's probably that algorithm it, kicking in. And right? then the 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 other thing is, um, you'll get along with me fine if you like baseball. That's what mine said. And then and then the other one was about there was some baseball reference in that one too. Right, it was right. just like, yeah, the the, the the coincidence. There wasn't a coincidence. The computer or whatever the fucking robots and yeah, AI yeah. figured out. Hey, these two are close. The age ranges are right there that he's looking for. Yeah. She's obviously, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck she's looking for, <laughs> but here's the thing. Didn't know then, don't know now. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. I still kind of do. It's like the fucking person you can fucking manipulate, I think. Maybe. Try to tell them what to do a little bit more. With a body like that, it ain't going to be that hard. Yeah, but still. If a guy has... If a guy has any fucking backbone... There's a lot of no backbone bitches, d- dudes out there. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. There's been some backbone bitches on this fucking show. <laughs> yeah. You know. Many of them. I can write them fucking down, I write their names down. Mm-hmm. They start their own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest one. Fucking red eye sex robot, fuck motherfucker. Where the fuck did I see his woman? I saw his woman at the damn arcade the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She is tiny as fuck, dude. She, thing? She's a teeny tiny little human being. Like a tiny little person. Yeah. Yeah. Childlike, I'm not into it. She looks yeah, she does. She's very like just itty bitty. Like short. Looks like an elf a little bit. No curves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she has curves. I don't know. Anyway. That's how it goes. What are you gonna do? Uh I wanna talk to you a little bit about our friend who just moved. Trying to think, we just fucking moved. Our Vino's friend. Oh yeah, she's she's <coughs> closer to you now. I'm considering asking her to come in and do the show. You should. I think she'd be great for the show. I think she's better would. with a few drinks in her. For yeah, sure. and, yeah. And I mentioned I mentioned it to her the other night when I was there, and she seemed to. Be, she asked if she could come and watch, and I'm like, yeah, you can come and watch us do the show. But I have yeah, I have they, a feeling that if you do come in and watch, you're gonna want to get. If on. she starts watching, she'll start chiming in. You put the headphones on her, and you slide that yeah. big black mic in front of her face. So I told her, I said, there's a room where you can sit outside of the window and kind of like listen to us do <coughs> do what we're doing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys, a little tickle. <clears throat> you know, so she was. She seems to be pretty receptive to coming in. And listening to it. Because I'm sure she has some fucking stories. Dude, right? I know, I know. A I girl wanna... that gets out as much as she does and been in the bar scene for 15 years almost. How old, how old is she? She's, uh, she's 30. She's, is she over 30 yet? She, she's like early 30s, 32, 33. So, and she's mm-hmm. she's been bartending as long as I've been in town, as far as I remember. 12 years. So, like, so I mean, she's only going to be useful like when she gets to 36, 7, 8, and 9. <laughs> she's trying to knock that shit off the old she's fuck like, it list. Mother fuck. Mother fuck. Fuck. But she's a cute little thing. She's Very good cute looking, little and, and she's dirty as shit, man. Oh, she got. A she's mouth a out. dirty, dirty girl. I can tell. It's the way we like yeah. it. That's how we do. Oh, we got any final words, man? Tell the peeps. It's good to have uh, you in here, man. Yeah, I'm sure you guys hear good. more of me. Yes. Coming in, yes. Yeah. Now that you're yeah, working new, at a reasonable new work time. Schedule, yeah. Yeah. Daddy's back. Fucking Aroid. Uh, we want to tell everybody again. We're giving some tickets away. So uh, we haven't figured out yet how we're going to give these tickets away but we're going to give them away so just email studio going deep show if you want some tickets freebies guys we're going to we're just going to put a bunch of names into a hat and just pick a name out and that's the person that's going to get them I think that's how it's going to do it that's easy enough yeah but maybe we should do it in a, in a creative way maybe we could put them in my, in my bowler hat here and then put like some type of sticky adhesive on one of Fiona's boobies and then um, have her drop just her titty in drop there. her titty into it and then pull out the winning ticket with her nipple. That's a very good idea. I think that's a good idea. That has my vote. Yep. I'll be there for videoing the whole thing. <laughs> hey, bring the kid. This is going deep show. Thank you for hanging and banging with us, doing your thing. Uh, hit the studio or the <laughs> studio at, at, studio at going deep show. Jesus Christ, I can't fucking talk, man. It's been a long few days. If only to have a fucking drink. Yeah. Chill to the next one, guys. <laughs> <laughs>